So we're going to need 10 foam boards. And I got these at Walmart. Get the Ross brand because that's the one that's 88 cents. These ones right here, which is the Elmer brand, that one was 177. I didn't even realize the difference. So there's 10 boards. I got um, Gorilla Wood Glue. I got some E6000 glue. I got this thing right here to clasp on for the back. Um, I got some glass mirrors from Hobby Lobby. I have the small plates from Hobby Lobby and the big ones. Let's see here. This is the one that's $5.99 or $6.99 with 20 count. This is the smaller one for $5.99. It also has 20 count. See the size difference? And just a, a measuring tape. So that's all my items laid out. Let's get started. So we're gonna glue two poster boards together. This one just happened to be gray, but it's, you know, it's gonna work the same way. So I'm just gonna glue that together. I'm gonna make three sets of those. So we're gonna glue all those together and we'll come right back. Okay, so I glued two pieces of cardboard together. So that's two pieces together, two pieces, two pieces. I'm just going to let it sit and dry for, mm, I don't know, maybe an hour? I don't know. Just going to let it sit there. And then I'm going to work on the next step. So now what I did is I just laid down the other four pieces of card um, foam board, I should say. Just like that. And I'm going to reinforce it with some duct tape. Now, LG Queen Home Decor didn't reinforce it with duct tape, but I feel better if I just put some duct tape on there. We're just going to do it on this side, which is the back side, so nobody's going to see it anyways. Okay, so I um, taped all the middle part with duct tape. So we're going to go on to our next step. Okay, so now that our foam board has dried, remember the foam board that we had put together earlier with two? Oh man, I didn't do a good job on this side right here. I'll just put more glue to glue it together. So what I'm doing next though, as soon as I fix that part, I'm gonna line, let me just move back here. Those are the three pieces. I'm gonna line all of this up against the poster board there. And I'm gonna glue all those pieces onto my main board. That, this is the back side of the board, by the way. Okay, so now I have um, all three of the foam boards glued to the back of the main board. So this is still the back side. Hi, honey. And I have a sick baby that's coughing. Um, so I'm just going to let it dry. I think I'm going to let it dry maybe for, I don't know, maybe for an hour or two. Just let it sit there and marry and mingle and let it tack away and I'll come back in a little bit so in the meantime my daughter's walking on it kind of secured a little quicker I mean we can make this a family project right so um, I just want to show you real quick you don't really have to do this but I actually use duct tape and taped against the borders of it see and I did it on this side as well and LG home decor didn't do that but I'm paranoid. What if it's on the wall and it just like falls, you know? So I just reinforce it a little. And my daughter's going to walk in circles until she feels like she's going to get dizzy. <laughs> so next I got a ruler. And I'm just going to measure maybe about five inches down right here. I'm just going to put a line right there so I could know where to mount my... Um, Thing I'm a jig here, and I'm gonna do the same on that side. Okay. Okay. I got the clips in. The foam board was thick enough for me to get it in with no problem. But since it's foamy, 
it, I was able to just push it in without even having to use a screwdriver. So of course, I'm gonna get some more duct tape and I'm gonna duct tape over this thing to secure it even further. Okay, so here's what the back of the board's gonna look like when it's complete. I got my little screws screwed on and I duct taped it down, duct taped it down. So like I said, this is the back side of the wall art. Okay, so next I line out the bottom part of the border and the side. So the side, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. And then the bottom is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven going the long way and five the up way. So I have it kind of lined up right now. Um, it's gonna have a little overlay, if you will. So on this side, I'm just gonna glue like the corner of the plate, I guess. Like that. And then, if you hear yelling in the background, it's the man playing or watching a video game or something. I don't know what he's doing. Anyways, press down. Make sure the next one is going to kind of overlap just a little bit so you can see the white underneath. And we're just going to glue again, like on the top part. Be generous with the glue. Kind of overlay it. Make sure the bottom part is aligned. Move it around a little if you need to. Press down. And I'm going to start up here as well to kind of make sure we're kind of going on the right track here. So we're going to do that. Generously apply. We're going to line it up from right here. Make sure it's straight on this side. And press down gently. Okay, I'm going to just continue to do this until the whole board is covered up. This is what it looks like with me just gluing the border on. I still have some books on there just to kind of secure it a little bit more. But it is looking amazing already. Amazing. We'll come back when we're done. While I finish the rest or the center part of the board, I'm going to have my little handy helper here. Um, we got the little book plates, the set of little plates, and we got these mirrored, um, square mirrored craft mirror. There comes 10 to a packet. They're for $249. i am going to have her um, glue some E6000 on. So that way, by the time we finish our main piece, at least this piece will dry, hopefully. So we're going to do it in a rectangle style to kind of give it some um, dimension. Hopefully it's not too heavy where it's not going to fall off our board. I don't think it is, but we'll see. And of course, there's going to be fingerprints on there, but we're going to wipe those all off later. So there's one. We only have 20 more to go. <laughs> okay, so we finally laid out the first layer. That's what it looks like. Genesis is working on the second layer. We're going to put that on for um, texture. So we'll come back in just a little bit. Okay, so we just kind of lined up the top part. It's not straight yet. My daughter helped me with it. So as you can see, the little plates has the mirror in the center. Um, we're gonna line it up right there and just kind of like catty corner it. So I'm gonna go in and glue everything down and we'll come back with the final, or I hope final reveal. See you in a bit. So we're gonna place a generous amount of glue right in the center. Like that. And then I'm just gonna place it down. Like that. I decided to change the pattern because when I was putting it on top of the plates, it, it felt it didn't feel sturdy. It, felt, it was falling off. 
So we kind of just cut a cornered each and every one on it, like each and every plate, each and every um plate, every other plate. I'm sorry. We put a plate on it, like in kind of a rectangular way, and it also has a mirror on top of it. So that's what it looks like. I'm just gonna let that dry before I even attempt to hang that on the wall. It's gonna look so pretty on that wall right there. This wall art is huge. I hope it hangs correctly. We'll come back and let you let you know. So big shout out to LG Queen Home Decor for this DIY idea. It came out beautiful and it's super huge. Super huge. It's a massive piece on my wall. I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh. If you guys are interested in making this DIY, it costs me less than $40. And it's pretty secure. It's holding up really well so far. It hasn't fell yet. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. <laughs>